China <coughs> welcomes the announcement made by Syrian government to <coughs> implement ceasefire and withdraw troops from some cities and towns. In our view, this is a very important step toward political settlement in Syria and also marks very important a progress in Kofi Annan's mediation efforts. We hope Syrian government will fully and credibly meet its obligations to implement ceasefire, to continue to give its support cooperation to Kofi Annan's mediation efforts, and shore up and sustain the political process in Syria. And also we hope that opposition parties they will also lay down their arms, stop fighting, implement ceasefire and support Kofi Annan's mediation efforts. So in order to ease tension and promote the political dialogue, political process in Syria, the Chinese government had been working on Syrian government and also opposition parties. So we have very close contact with Special Envoy Kofi Annan and have given him full support in his mediation effort. So during his briefing a moment ago, that he, you know, he spoke highly of the role that China has played and gave his appreciation to the Chinese government for the support given by the Chinese government to him. Just a few days ago that uh, Foreign Minister Yang Jiechi wrote a letter to you know, his counterpart in Syria. In the letter, Yang Jiechi, our foreign minister, <coughs> praised the decision made by the Syrian government to implement a ceasefire and withdraw troops from towns and cities. And also, Foreign Minister Yang hopes that in his letter, that the Syrian government will continue to implement the ceasefire in a credible way to support Kofi Annan's mediation efforts fully. And also, he hopes that uh, the Syrian government can, can launch, foster, sustain the political process in Syria. In Beijing, in Damascus, in New York, you know, I've been working on, on both sides, Syrian government and also the opposition parties in Syria. Make sure that they understand the importance of implementing this six-point plan proposed by Kofi Annan. And also, we, you know, we share with them our concerns and also our support about mediation effort made by UN and also made by Kofi Annan. You know, we have very, very close contact also with Arab League and with colleagues in Moscow in other areas. Make sure there's a, there's a teamwork moving in the right direction. I'm very happy to see today progress has been made, though it's a fragile, but I hope that you know, through the joint efforts we can maintain this progress and it can make more progress in the future. So China will 
we work closely with the international community to make sure that we can, we can sustain the gain through the mediation efforts. And also we believe the people in, in Syria, they will understand the importance of peace stability in their country. So we believe the future is in the hands of the people in Syria with support from the Chinese people, Chinese government, and also from the international community. Thank you very much. How fast does the Security Council act on sending the monitoring system to Syria? And do you think the that Syria uh, authority should withdraw their troops now from the population centers now? Can you speak now, Madam Ambassador? We really can't hear you, if you don't mind. Yes, as I said, you know, we uh, fully support Kofi Annan's mediation effort. I think there is a request from him to deploy the mission observers as soon as possible. So he has our full support. And also we hope that uh, the council can you know, have discussion on that immediately. At, you know, at, to my understanding, I think that this is going to happen very soon. Is China prepared to, yes. to contribute forces yes. for the peace observers? Yes, for you. Yes. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Ambassador, clearly you're speaking the language of a ceasefire right now, not the pullback of the Syrian troops to the barracks. Is this a new position that uh, we talk ceasefire only? And can you kindly say that you do support or not support the call for a pullback to the barracks, either here or in the Security Council resolution as being prepared right now? You know, what I'm saying is, you know, we, uh, we fully support the Coffee and six-point plan. And we believe the ceasefire is very important and it's also pulling troops out of the towns and cities by the Syrian government is also very, very important. This is the part of the six-point plan. So, we, so that's why we believe and also we hope that uh, until you know, this, there is a full implementation of six-point plan, can we see the real progress on the ground? So that's why we need teamwork. Thank you. Does China believe that uh, if North Korea fires the rocket, it would be a breach of international peace and security? Well, we, you know, we are concerned about, uh, about that issue. And you know, we have been working on that, you know, with, along with the friends, the countries, the parties concerned in the region. And we think that uh, the peace stability in the region is really important. You know, we've got to do everything possible to def diffuse tension rather than inflame the situation there. So I think we should do everything possible, make sure that peace stability will be ma maintained in the region. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.